What's up guys, Ben here, bringing you another video today. I'm recording this on Wednesday afternoon and we are supposed to get a schedule on Thursday per some leaks that we've gotten over the course of last week or so. But we actually got some news dropping today via Jacob Hill of DeSerto. We actually have some leaked major locations as well as the champs location, which was kind of interesting. So let's take a look at where we're going this season for the Call of Duty League and I'll share you my thoughts. All right, so here we go. Here is the list. Let's go uh, one by one. Also note here and Jacob Hale tweeted this out. You see Raleigh listed there. Uh, it's actually in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we'll get to that when we get to Major 4. Starting off, Major 1, Boston, Massachusetts. Last year, this was Major 2 because we did have an event in Raleigh, North Carolina uh, in December, and that was Major 1. And it was in a cool venue last year. It was the MGM Theater or whatever it was called, MGM Music Hall, something like that. New building they built next to Fenway, like super nice venue. The other pro There were a couple problems last year. Uh, one I think is on the Boston group and the other one, I don't really know what you can do. The one they can't control is the weather. Um, that was a weekend in which there was something called a bomb cyclone going on. So it was not only like cold, but it was like normally more cold than it should be. Uh, it's not going to be super warm in Boston at the end of January, but I think the city's still good. I think we'll still have a good time. In an ideal world, if you swap major one and major four in this list, I think it would be better. But obviously we can't do anything about that. Uh, the other thing that I hope Boston does this year is pick a better venue for challengers. And not to say that Fenway isn't nice because it's a historic ballpark. I think the room was cool. The problem is the room was cold as well, which was an issue for people having to, you know, have to expose hands out and play games. And it was freezing in there. There was no heat. So hopefully they pick a venue that, that works. And I think, again, if they're potentially going back to the same area, which I'm not really sure of, if that's the case, there are some other spaces, I think, around the area they can uh, get that done with no issue across the street. So we'll see what they do. Next up, we have Miami, Florida. I'm super excited for this one. Honestly, Major 2 and Major 3 for me on this list are probably the, the, the best of the majors, and I'll explain why in a second. We're going to Miami in, like, prime Miami, Florida season. It's not going to be crazy, crazy hot. Uh, it's not going to be crazy cold there. It's kind of around spring break season. It's going to be prime, like, season there as far as, like, getting stuff uh, going and going to restaurants and in the beach and all the other fun stuff that you do uh, with uh, your life in Florida. I'm going to bring my golf clubs. Just like know that. I'm excited for this. Not sure what venue it is yet. It's not listed here. There's a couple of interesting like theaters and convention centers in Miami. So this one should be really, really fun. We haven't been back to Miami since Black Ops 4. And that one was like kind of late in the spring, early summer. And it was very warm. Uh, this one will be, will be fun. I think... Uh, I think the Sunday nights are going to hit particularly good at this event. I'm going to not going to lie. It might be, might be a little dangerous. There's also one of those events where I think I might do like some Monday after golf stream or something, but we'll, I'll figure out what the people that I know I play golf with. All right. Next up, we have the event that I enjoy too. Like every year it's on the calendar, the Toronto ultra major. This one, this time will be major three. So we're looking at the middle uh, to endish of spring. The weather is going to be great in Toronto. Uh, the trees are going to be blooming. I'm also bringing my golf clubs this event because we played TPC Toronto last time after. Obviously, I will make sure I don't tear my meniscus. If you guys remember last year, uh, I was limping around that event because I tore my meniscus falling in the shower on the Monday when I arrived at the event. Let me make sure I don't do that again in Toronto. But my guess is, um, considering they have run now four events at the Madame Athletic Center, I assume that's where they're going to go back to. It's a, it's a fun building, good area, a lot of food, a lot of excitement. I just love the city of Toronto. It's another event where I'm just going to go like the whole week and have like a great time. So excited for that one. And then we go to major four, which actually, like I said earlier, is Charlotte, not Raleigh. Uh, Jacob did put out a correction, but I guess they haven't up, so up, updated this sort of article since I uh, started recording this video. Charlotte's interesting. There's been a couple of esports events recently in Charlotte and of the like kind of cities in the area, I actually think that Charlotte might be a better play um, than Raleigh. We're going to be sort of at the end of spring, early summer. Again, another event your boys bring in their golf clubs to because there's a lot of really good golf in the area. Not sure what venue they're doing just yet, but it's a fun city. We haven't been there for a Call of Duty event, at least in the CWL, CDL era. I'm not really sure, and I'd have to do research. They did one during like the early MLG days. MLG's gone to Charlotte a lot, and I'm not really sure, and I'd have to look up if they went like back for like COD 4 or something when it was a little bit of a smaller situation. But that one should be interesting for Major 4, which again, if it's rumored with the new point structure for lands, like it's going to be the sort of penultimate event and one with a lot on the line. So we'll see where we go for Charlotte. I'm also very curious if this is going to be like a Carolina Ravens uh, ev uh, event. I'm curious if this is a league event. It is a pair with some other sort of 
esports engine ESL thing going on. Curious about more of the clarity there. And I've talked about this before because this question has gotten asked a lot. Obviously, people were wondering why no London event. I brought this up when we talked about Raleigh last year. North Carolina has a uh, a esports event um, grant uh, a funding situation. They really want to bring these events in. I think as well as I can kind of give this sort of spin from being on the inside. I worked very early on the planning for Major One last year when I was still working at Esports Engine. The convention board, the uh, local sports convention board really also wants these events. So they'll throw in local incentives on top of, you know, what the state or the city will be funding. So there's just, there's a lot of the state of North Carolina is trying to do to bring esports events to their area. You know, anything to drive down costs is obviously really key for uh, the league, for event holders, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's get to the interesting one. This one, I think some people in the community are going to have a reaction to I actually don't hate this. Call of Duty champs expected to take place at Dallas, Texas, not at ESA, at the American Airlines Center. So if you are American, this is where the Mavericks play, aka Luka Doncic, where the Stars play. If you are not from America, it's basically their big arena in uh, Dallas. There's actually a lot of smaller, like AHL style, um, like smaller multi-use areas or arenas. Um, this is by far the biggest in the area. It's, it's a great building. I've never actually been inside it, but I've watched a lot of sporting events there and it seems really cool. So, it, you know, we've done champs in NBA arenas before. Um, so this would not be a new concept. I think the new concept is doing an event in Dallas and then not being at Esports Stadium in Arlington or the Fort Worth Convention Center or the Dallas Convention Center. I would be very curious if this event is a league run event or a league run event in partnership with Optic. I would be incredibly shocked, incredibly shocked if Optic is not involved at some level of planning this event, considering their headquarters is like literally, it's across the street doesn't do it justice. If I were to show you on a map, it's basically like like 500 feet max uh, from the American Airlines Arena. They're in the same like plaza area. So I have to think that Optic's kind of involved with this event. Now, my guess is there's gonna be some reaction in the community of, oh, well now Optic is getting a free champs and it's gonna be a home crowd. First off, it's an Optic crowd at every event that you go to for the most part especially champs. Second, I, I think at that point, it's not really gonna matter as much just because, you know, you get away from like the major one, major two where people are still learning the game. At that point, everybody knows the game. Everybody's locked in. It's gonna come down to who plays the best on the weekend and not, you know, the crowd will help a little, but I think it's more about other factors. So anyone that has that talking point is whack. I don't mind Dallas, Texas being uh, a major uh, a host for champs. Obviously we had a good time in Vegas last year, but I could see why maybe they moved away from that. And honestly, we've had champs so many times in LA that the West Coast champs thing is tough. Now this brings up an interesting point and one that I think a couple of people have also talked about in the community that I've seen sort of reactions on Twitter and on Reddit since this list got posted. Uh, people complain no West Coast events. My response to that is outside the league, who's going to run them? We haven't never had a Seattle uh, Call of Duty League major. We had a Seattle event back um, in the CWL era, but it was not a well-packed event. I think attendance at Seattle events is, can be a little bit iffy. Uh, neither LA team seems interested in running uh, an event. Obviously, LAG is kind of bare bones at the moment. I think they have one or two staff members. And Thieves, as far as I know, have never run any kind of massive esport event that isn't like an activation they ran um, at their facility. So they've not in really interested in doing that either. And that's it. That's all your three West Coast teams. So like, I, I know it sucks. I know we'd like to go back to Anaheim. I really think the league, you know, for me, like, for example, if we're looking at an event that should have happened in December, like Anaheim, what are we doing here? Yeah, outside the league running an event in California or Nevada or Arizona or what have you, I don't think any of those West Coast teams really want to run one. So yeah, those are my thoughts. It's not a bad list. Obviously, look, we really want a fifth major. I strongly feel that made four majors is a big L. But as far as this list goes, it's really not that bad. I think the one change, again, Squad major four, major one. Let's go to Charlotte like at the end of January and then let's go to Boston like in the beginning of the summer. I think that would be like a perfect list. And look, yes, no European event. We've talked at length as to why that doesn't happen. No California event. I just touched on it. There's obviously situationally it comes down to who wants to spend money to run events. But from my personal opinion, I actually don't think there's a bad list. We've got some repeats um, that are going to be great events. I don't think there's any major on here that's not going to be a banger. And same with champs. I think champs in Texas is going to hit. But obviously, those are my thoughts on this. I'm curious about your thoughts. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the major and champs locations. We'll have more on the schedule uh, starting tomorrow. If it's getting posted, we'll break down key matchups, who's got the hardest splits. We've got all sorts of content if that schedule comes out tomorrow. 
uh, or what have you. So let me know what you guys think. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. And as always, guys, we will see you on the next one.